But do I feel the same about March break, summer break? No. List your home, go on vacation, and let us handle the rest. Exactly. <laughs> right? Take two? No, take three. <laughs> Spring has sprung. Does that even sound right? Absolutely, and it's definitely sprung on this sofa right here. It absolutely has. <laughs> All right. Hmm. So with spring, what is it that we always hear for real estate? Well, uh, spring market is coming up. Is it the right time to list? Ah, oh, jeez. The age-old mm -hmm. question, right? Like, of course. Listen, at the end of the day, I mean, okay. I truly believe the right time to list is when the client is ready and able to be part of the process. Right. Firmly believe that. Well, there are lots of pros and cons when you're deciding to list during the spring market. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, if you're a buyer that's looking for a home, you're going to see more homes come up for yeah, sale. Hopefully more choice. For right. You. Yeah. And you know, the notion is most people like to move. Uh, you know, shop for a home during that period because yeah. they want to move once kids are done with school, which Absolutely. is traditionally towards end of June. Exactly. So we understand that perspective. Right. However, I've always been of the belief that the time to list your home is when it's the right time for yourself and your family. Now, just to play devil's advocate a little bit, but not really, because I also, two things can be true at the same time. We know this. <laughs> All right. right. Um, as much as there's a right time for you to list, mm -hmm. I might say that there might be a time for you not to list, and I don't know if you and I see eye to eye here. Because right? you don't want to be working during that no. time? Is that, <laughs> it is, has nothing to do with With me. March break coming up, is that what <laughs> no. it is? Oh geez, I wish. Um, it's not really March break. I think March break is actually, go ahead and list your home. And guess what? If you're traveling during the time that you're listing, it might work out to your benefit. Everything is electronic, right? Most things, like most people are okay with electronic signatures. That's right. manager showing, you have access to who's coming in and out of your property. Everybody's under surveillance most of the time, right? Um, so I think it's okay if clients are traveling during March break and you want to list your home, go for it. What I mean is there might be a time, and I am really talking about the Christmas holidays here, traditionally in December, I don't know if I would encourage people to list their homes during that time. Now, have I gone house shopping during that time for clients? Yes. There is always opportunity, but if you look at the cycles, generally speaking, supply does go down a little bit in that time. Right? See, I'm in India at that point in time. <laughs> You're not even here for December, so it doesn't So I'm even always matter. away. If anything is coming up, Varsha has to pretty much handle it. And I've, I've got That's you. Right? I've got you, right? But if I was having a conversation with a client who was sort of on the cusp of listing, they weren't sure, spring, even summer, I'd be like, go for it, go for it, go for it. Let's just find you. You can list at any point. And listen, if you Correct. have to sell, you sell at whatever point needs to be done and we'll do the best to market everything. You know what? It comes back to the fact that there are a couple of things that we really need to focus on when we're listing a home. Of yeah. course, we're looking at the market conditions at that point in time, but also how we position the house. Yes. And you know, there are yes. two things that we strongly believe in. Yes. Number one is the way you price it according to the current market yeah. and presentation. That's everything. If, if it's priced right to get yeah. good amount of buyer attention for right. what the home has to command, Absolutely. you know, we've seen that your, your home will sell. That I do think you can sell at any point but truthfully if I'm having conversations and someone is deciding to either wait till the new year or if they you know should I try and sell over the holidays like do you have to sell then right okay. are you prepared to be involved in the process like can you commit to that are you okay with people coming in and out of your home if you're trying to host during the holidays that's you know, true things like that that's do true. come up that's right true. but do I feel the same about March break summer break no list your home go on vacation and let us handle the rest exactly <laughs> right <laughs> and hopefully we can get you some multiples especially the way the market's going right especially now right the way the market's going right now yeah yeah with the uh with the change uh that they kind of talking about and anticipating with the market right. outlook that we attended for treb yeah. uh you know they're yeah. saying there's a 94 percent chance 
by March 2025 yeah. that there is an adjustment by 125 basis points. Absolutely. So a lot of people are banking yeah. on you know those changes to happen, but yeah. you and I understand that the the minute there's that slight shift, yeah. the crazy goes cuckoo. We already see the undertones of what what's happening in the market because multiples are a reality in our world. Um, and so by the time the media tells you, hey, there isn't enough inventory, interest rates have gone down a bit, and then, you know, the general public clues in, and that's when the frenzy starts and all of that's the right. other hype happens, but we've, we're already tracking it, because we're already seeing those murmurs in the market right now. It's important to have, uh, you know, your fingertips on the pulse, and, you know, understanding from your real estate professional, whoever your representation is, do they really understand your current market situation? Yeah. Do they really understand your condition and what you're shopping for a home yes. or when you're putting up your home for sale? Yeah. So Absolutely. there are a lot of factors, a lot of conditions. Lots of conditions. Right? That come along with that Absolutely. decision. So, so you know, we'll, our hope is that our buyers see a little more choice in the, in the next few weeks because the spring market should show us a little bit more for inventory. Yeah. Um, our sellers, you might have a little bit of competition, but let's be honest, even from you know the market outlook, inventory might not be as, as correct as high, right? Correct. So you still have an opportunity to stand out if you're looking this up this spring. Yes, this spring. Spring has sprung. Spring has definitely sprung here at Keystone. Hi, I'm Tanya. Hi, I'm Varsha. Welcome, Welcome to, to Coffee, Coffee with, with Keystone. Keystone.